Where am I? Why does my body ache? Why am I lying on the floor? To get away from that lunatic, I climbed into the ventilation duct. So I must have fallen out afterwards. Hopefully I got away from that lunatic once and for all. Damn, this room is locked too. The world is a sinful place. You can choose to either fight against it, or you can choose to take part in it. But then there are some of us who are just onlookers that do nothing. At least they don't make things worse. Of course you would say that. But in reality, indifference is the biggest culprit of all. It is the soil evil breeds in. The sins are encouraged by that innocent silence. What are you saying? Serving justice is what the police are for. Everyone has their own responsibilities, so you shouldn't expect people to fix your problems for you. You also shouldn't meddle in other people's business either. Meddle? It would seem you have forgotten something important. Or perhaps you never cared at all. If so, let me give you some advice, Matthew. Check the closet you just opened. She's been waiting for you for a while. And I have prepared a small gift for you. You will understand what to do next once you see it.
Everything seems to be going well. And you seem to be enjoying it, right, Matthew? You have to admit that a woman's ornaments are quite fascinating. All I want to do is quickly end this boring and disgusting game of yours. So Shirley and I can get the hell out of here just as you promised. I'm sure I didn't promise anything. Just as I've said all along, all I have done is guide you. To help you regain your memory to find something buried deep in your mind. Since I've been here, I haven't done a single thing that actually helped me under your so-called guidance. One of us must be completely insane. Or maybe you've had the wrong person from the very beginning. I really have no idea what you're going on about. You jump to conclusions too easily, Matthew. Do you see the bed with the beautiful patterns? Put her on it. And then perhaps you'll finally see your Shirley. Let me go! You psycho, this is insane! Shirley, where is Shirley? You lied to me! What have you done with her? Lie? But you've seen Shirley. She's always been there. When you held her, didn't she seem familiar to you? Like you'd seen her before? Surely you notice the stench that fills the room. And don't forget what you did in the kitchen. The marks on that body weren't just random drawings. To be precise, you and Shirley did more than just... meet. <laughs> you... No! It's not true! Ah! Why? Why did you do that? You know, although Harbor Town is not as busy as it used to be, this hotel is not that far out of the way. Perhaps there is someone passing by, and perhaps they will hear your calls for help. But just as you said, who wants to meddle in other people's business, right? Now, 
your calls for help will be ignored by others. Tell me, Matthew, do you still believe that? You bastard. Help! Can anyone hear me? I've been kidnapped! Call the police! No. Maybe my name will help you remember. My name is Colby. Colby? Harbortown Hotel. You were the boy who needed help. Enjoy it. The pain of being helpless and all alone. For me, however, it's this pain that gives me power. I hope you can enjoy the pain, Matthew. Because the trials waiting for you are far from over. Shirley's ending is only the beginning. The evil born in this house where the hatred started. It all started with her. My trials for you will not end until you breathe your very last. <laughs> 